like I said, he has that potential. There's a double-sided sword to that potential. So if if he if he doesn't have the uh, ability to confirm confirm it into greatness, he may be he may be lustering a little bit. But here we go. We're starting on PS2. Chrom versus Mega Man. Ooh, almost got the cheese with that back air into the forward smash, but didn't get that hit. Let's, let's see what we can get off of it. And not surprising enough, Obsidian is all over regulating Mofo. He, he's the kind of player that he really likes to smother you. Like, if, if you're going to do something, he's going to punish you and keep punishing you and convert the punishments into possible death. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's really, like, the good thing about Mega Man, you know, he could do that, like, just smother your, your opponent until they die. You're right, and uh, Krom can also do that as well. Uh, Krom is a great punishment character. The one, uh, like, like we said before and like we've seen before, the one unfortunate poor thing while he gets that tipper, the, the one unfortunate poor thing that uh, Krom suffers from is poor recovery. He only has two options that he could really do off stage, which is air dodge or up B. And unfortunately, that's that's not very good. Yeah. It's it's truly for what for one of the best characters in the game. It's uh, it's odd that he has a. Uh, a weird recovery Ooh, like that. As good back air coming out from Mofo. Regulating Mofo ends up getting the good back air. And back to the even stocks, getting that leaf shield, getting a lot of good percent. I love that new leaf shield. It, it's it's doing wonders. It just doesn't hit you once and disappear. That's, that's right. the nice thing about it. Uh, the the leaf shield is definitely it's it's more of a spinning uh, spinning tool and everything that you can uh, regulate all that. Oh, good forward smash, taking Obsidian's second stock. So Obsidian's down to his last stock, and Mofo is really putting that pressure on. And here we go. We reset the neutral. A uh, little bit of a trade there with the Nair. Mofo setting setting Obsidian up for the ride. Good back airs. Good back airs. And from a forward air to a back air. Mofo shooting the leaf shield out. Oh, he went for a forward smash. A Randy forward smash. And just didn't catch it. He, he, he's, he's more of a calculated Randy F smash. Like, <laughs> it, it, like, like I say, single hit in, uh, single hit in air into F smash. He's not related to Randy, he, he, but... There, there's no Randy in his, in his family, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So we, oh, that was clean. There we go. Cleans up that stock. We got a tight game here, folks. It's one stock apiece. Obsidian has 103% on him. Mofo, fresh stock. So we'll see We'll see what can happen here. Good neutral air. Good neutral air. Let's see back here. Oh, good dancing blade. I don't think it's called dancing blade for them, but uh, I don't know we're we're still gonna call it dancing blade. I mean, it's just easier that way. <laughs> Let's see. Obsidian is definitely within kill percent, so definitely he he needs to be very cautious and approach very 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 safely. Good lemon use. He used that metal blade to get him back to stage. So that That's was actually kind of ingenious. Yeah, genius. That was good, good report. Good for air. Oh, went Ooh. for a forward smash on it. Oh, shield getting quite weak. Up smash! Gonna take the first stock. I didn't really like that. Uh, uh, that. That commitment to his side being uh, right. at the end of that. If, if he would have just laid off at one or two, he, he would have been away with that. But unfortunately, he committed and regulating Mofo punished accordingly, and it ended up winning him the game. That was a great run up, up smash on that. That was a good, great punish, like I said. 
using the word great a lot, but I mean, yeah. this has been great, so. Yeah, I mean, it's been an awesome tournament so far. Uh, I believe this is our last top eight qualifier. So, we went to, so we're going to Smashville. Here we go. Okay, good lemons, good lemons. Good way to start out. I mean, like I said, lemonade. Who doesn't like lemonade? Uh, well, it looks like Chrom isn't like a lemonade because he's telling him, hey, you need to get off, uh, get out of here. Like, you need to go. The bar is closing. Right? No, I mean, who doesn't like a spike lemonade? But, I mean, apparently, Chrom might not be old enough for that. No, nah, Chrom's old enough. It's just he doesn't drink. <laughs> the least shield coming out for Mopo and uh, dealing some good, decent damage. Uh, Mopo going back to the lemons, trying to keep him spaced out so that way he don't get hit with that sword. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the thing that's changed is uh, Obsidian spacing is, doing, is a lot better. And not only that, but he's... As, as I'm saying, that regulating Mofo <laughs> ends up catching his jump with the back air and gets the stock. Uh, he's doing a lot better with controlling the pace of the match and controlling how he approaches and everything. And he's being a lot more calm and he's not throwing out random attacks. Absolutely. Good parry and the four tilt gets the, the punish on that. But doesn't really get anything else. Oh, he's going for that forward smash to take him completely off the stage. Definitely. Oh, there we go into the bear. Evens it up. We're at 2-2. Two -two. All right. Let's, let's see. Obsidian could definitely bring in this back. Oh, forward smash. Got that cheese that he's been looking for. And he gets back. He, he saved a jump. It was good cheese, but it wasn't cheesy enough, unfortunately. Uh, he wanted Gouda, and unfortunately, he only had Havarti. <laughs> All right, so they're getting the neutral air, just trying to get him out. Uh, let's see if, oh, he's going for the metal blade that time. Forward smash gun, knock him out. Oh, he went for a two frame. Didn't get it, though. Tried to get that two frame, but unfortunately, it was a little too short. Now we're resetting, the, we're resetting the neutral. And Lemon's gonna go ahead and push him back out, and we're back to the same spot we've been at this whole game. Seems like, but now it's the opposite. Now Mopo's in that situation, and that—that's the thing with Obsidian. He, he can turn the tides in any situation, just like that with a snap of the fingers. But and unfortunately, Mofo cleans up the. With the ledge trump back air, we got a two-one stock situation here. Mofo's been—he uh, does that, the clinging back air a lot. Like that's very like Mega Man-esque. Oh! But then he ends up taking his jump, and now we have an even game here. Obsidian has a bit of life here. Let's see what he could do with it. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping, you know, we might see another game three, you know, it'd be really nice because it's been so good so far. Why not give us another game three? But Obsidian's going to have to put in some work to get yeah, it. Obsidian's definitely going to have to put in some work because Mofo is not having any of it. He is all over him like a bad habit, ladies and gentlemen. And that metal blade, the dropping in the forward airs, they're so clean. And uh, just his conversions and everything. It's not even like any of the technical combos or anything like that. It's just he knows what is, what's going on and where he's going to be able to. Oh! So he reads the roll with the up smash, regulating Mofo, checks his ticket into top eight. Congratulations to him and congratulations.